expect to see you here. was that? <sighs> every damn night, every damn nightmare. Uh, at least the nights are more exciting than whatever I've been up to. Uh, just what have I been up to this time? Hmm. My phone. What happened to it? I had a phone, now I don't. It must be here somewhere. The back is broken in two. Maybe someone missed their sitting target. I'll go all in and say this was today's dinner. There might be more clues about. Looks like I had a party of four, all by myself. I feel something in my memory stirring. A page of the daily newspaper. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. Chief Jaeger, my former boss. Isn't that just a face even a mother would punch? Most upsetting view after waking up, or any time of day. I should just stop reading newspapers altogether. I think I can piece it together now. A newspaper article featuring my old boss, Chief Jaeger. Fried noodles, beer, and weed. My usual dinner. I was just enjoying a smoke and then I saw this face. I might have been upset about it. In my... Upsetness, I might have been tossing things around. Let's see. If I was standing here, tossing things, and my phone was one of them, from this angle, it's somewhere under the shelves. But there was no fight. At all. Well, that's depressing. I got this music box as a present from my grandpa. I always wondered why it was so important to him. Even as a child, I found it too kitschy. I think it needs a very special key to wind it up. And I don't have it. All right, let's get you out of here. What the fuck? I have 53 unread messages. All from Johannes. I met JB, of course. And a voicemail. Hi, sis! Come and join us at the Vicen ASAP! The vibe is great! We're... Uh, what's this? Oh, we're, we're in the Wolpertinga Brow Tent. Uh, and bring some cash. We're kind of running dry over here. Bye! I really don't get why my bro loves Oktoberfest so much. I mean, why go to a place to drink lots of beer when you can get perfectly drunk at home? And you don't have to put up with all the other drunken ass- Huh. I think that came from the door. Huh. 
someone shoved a letter under my door. It looks very old-fashioned. It even has a wax seal. And the symbol on it is a... a frog. <laughs> it has a wax seal on it, like in those weird period dramas. Maybe I'm invited to a ball. The last event I went to seemed awful at first, but ended up being quite lit. Let's see. Huh, it looks like a poem. The one where the words matter as much as the shape they're written in. These poems have some obscure name. Kami... K Kali... Ugh, I knew it once. Yeah, Grandpa was very much into them. It doesn't matter now. O oh, daughter of the son of the seeker, go find the answer to questions unknown. Look for them at the... Brassy figure, a saint you vow exist. Ariola relit ifs. A bond between us that yet requires trust. Guess it's some sort of riddle? Leading to a... location? This is the first time in weeks I've gotten any sort of information. Might as well follow it and see where it goes. Hmm. A newspaper article. March 13th, 2017. Motorcyclist narrowly escapes death. It's about my... Accident. Accident. Yeah, right. Assault would be the right word. They threw me out of the job. And they tried to kill me, I'm sure of it. I came too close to their lies, crimes, and corruption. Scumbags. Someday, I'll have proof. All that belonged to Grandpa. Most of it relates to that case he was always talking about. His unsolved mystery. As a child, I thought I was a bit kooky. Now, though, now I understand him all too well. Granddad's old police identification. <sighs> Wonder what he would think about his granddaughter being dismissed at age 35. I wonder if Grandma dying so early made him a bit, uh, weird. Much like me, he had this case he was obsessed with. Unlike me, he kept a useful journal. He sure wrote a lot of things, useful and not too useful. It's a long shot, but maybe his writing can help me with that weird letter. Daughter of the Son of the Seeker. Who is the Seeker here? What I do know is that my grandpa was into these kind of poems. Maybe he collected some in his folder of weirdness? Wait, this shape. That's the Bavaria statue. Kind of unexpected. I mean, it fits though. She's the saint of the city. I wonder what it means. I think they're not connected. No, why? The poem in the journal entry must be talking about the Torician Visa. That's where the Bavaria statue is located, and the annual Oktoberfest. I guess I'll be going to Oktoberfest after all. The Bavaria statue is right next to the Wizen. Looks like I'm going to Oktoberfest after all. JB will be ecstatic. If he's still conscious.
Uh, here we are. The Bavaria statue overlooking the Oktoberfest Gaudi. But I'm not here to enjoy myself. Couldn't if I wanted to. To be honest, prices are insane. JB said he'd be in the Woltinger Brow Tent. How can you afford drinks there? Focus. I need to figure out what's up with this statue. Then I can worry about JB's spending habits. Ooh, that is a good looking motorcycle. Whoever owns it knows what a good time looks like. Oh, didn't expect to find anything other than Bavarian folk music here. You know, I've been getting that a lot tonight. Guess that means I'm doing something right, don't you think? So, how is it playing the xylophone at Oktoberfest? Oh, it's not a xylophone. It's called a vibraphone. Sorry, my bad. Don't worry. It's an easy enough mistake to make. Playing it here is going surprisingly well. I drew quite the crowd when I was performing. <sighs> now it seems people have lost interest, though. I'm thinking about heading home. Whose motorcycle is that? Not mine, unfortunately. There's a man who occasionally enters the statue. I think he's doing repair work inside. I had to move some of his bags out of the way. Oh, do you know anything about the statue? Hmm, not much. I enjoy going inside, though. It's also fun to climb up. There's a great view over the festival. See you later. All right, I'm in. Now what? Hmm, the person who wrote the letter knew my grandpa. Maybe I can find something useful in his journal. This is one of the last pages in the journal. That's quite a noticeable bag. I suppose it belongs to the musician outside. A large duffel bag, large enough to store some good tools. Huh, I can see a part of Wizen from here. From here, all I can really see are three tents. The Oltwasser tent, the De Trop tent, and the Voltingerbrau tent. Someone left a notepad here. The notepad is empty, but this? Bavaria statue is a key to the legacy. Maybe there's a hidden compartment. I couldn't find anything. Letter from the archive seems useless meandering, except this line. I stare from her eyes and witness my legacy. I now know where I can safely entrust my treasure to. That's it. Whose notepad is this? And why are they also looking into the Bavaria statue? A riddle is likely talking about the tents I saw. But what's so special about these tents? Maybe other people know. Hey there, sis. Didn't think you would actually show up. <laughs> Just because I didn't answer your 500 messages. Oh, I assumed that was because your grandma phone finally found peace. 
Hey, watch it. This phone will outlive you and me both. And how are things with you? Living the dream. I mean, outside this tent. Better than you, I can tell you. Why don't you ever respond to my calls? I just have stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, so much stuff. Like being unemployed is much work. Thanks for reminding me. Someone should look out for you. We should hang out more. Yeah, maybe. I could use a drink. Too bad. I'm all out of cash. Didn't you hear my voice message? I thought you came to rescue me from soberness. Huh. The family resemblance between you two is uncanny. Do you know anything about these beer tents? I know I like hanging out in them. What can you tell me about the trap? Ugh, Roman Catholic vanguard. Their beer doesn't even abide to the Reinheitsgebot. And the tent? The tent? <laughs> the tent certainly doesn't abide to the Reinheitsgebot. <laughs> <sighs> I forgot how annoying you are when you're drunk. What can you tell me about Wolpentingerbräu? Oh, heck yeah, Wolpentingerbräu, the good stuff. Anything else? Why the questions? You know, just a thing I'm investigating. Are you getting yourself in trouble again? Who made you suddenly the older sibling? I see the position like a timeshare. Anyhow, about that tent. There's, like, stories. Uh, hold on. Why are you taking your phone out? Because, if you didn't have such a brick for a phone, you could have looked this up yourself. Ah, here it is. Wolpertinga Brow, founded in 1383. It exchanged hands over the centuries, but was eventually taken over by Joseph Schulein, pillar of the community. Until he had to flee the city, never to be seen again. Cause he was Jewish, and the Nazis, they didn't like that. Real assholes, those Nazis. Oh, here's about the legacy. He really liked this spot. And so, ever since he fled, the tent has stood on this spot, unchanged. Because if there's anything Bavarians like more than beer, it's tradition. Linked to beer. What can you tell me about the Altwasser tent? Cheap beer with regrettable consequences. They replaced half of the alcohol with sweeteners. Who does that? What about the tent? Oh, never seen it before now. <sighs> Enough about tents. Do you have any more information on Joseph Schulein? Uh, who now? The brewer. You just read about him on your phone. Don't expect me to remember things in this state, Juju. See you later. Hey, Dora. Enjoying the wizen? Not exactly enjoying. I enjoy seeing you here, though. Long time no see. Yeah, surprised you left your flat. I dig your tortured ex-cop shtick. <laughs> How are things going, then? All right, still love criminal psychology. Can't wait to be a mad psychological genius, a rogue detective chasing down some psychopath. Great life goal. I know. Do you know anything about these beer tents? Maybe. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the Detrop tent? Huh, that's some heavy beer. It's made by an order of monks called the Trappists. 
Much like every monastic order before them, they wanted to return to simplicity. If simplicity means high alcohol specialty beer, sign me up. Right, but is there anything special about the tent? Nothing more than whoever's sponsoring them must have a lot of cash on hand. They say it's the Roman Catholic Church trying to get us all drinking. Of course it is, JB. What can you tell me about the Voltingebroi tent? That's the tent we're in right now. Ever since I've known about Oktoberfest, it's been here at this exact spot. Apparently, it's a tradition. What can you tell me about Altalazer? That it tastes like it sounds. It was recently launched by a big American corporation. They wanted something that sounded authentically German. If you want to get drunk for less money, that's your tent right there. Let's go there! I'm not that desperate, and neither are you. So, it's a new tent. First time they're at the Wiesen. And nobody knows how they convinced the city to allow an American corporation here at Oktoberfest. Weird stuff. <sighs> Enough about tents. Why are you so into beer tents all of a sudden? <laughs> new hobby? Just the thing I'm looking into. Nothing special. That's also what I say when I'm up to nothing suspicious at all. Ever heard of the name Joseph Shalloin? The brewer who had to flee the Nazis? Typical, well-loved member of the community who grew eccentric over time. The Nazis trying to overthrow the government in his beer hall in 1923 didn't help. How do you know so much about him anyway? Munich's history is fascinating, especially the things the city's embarrassed about. Sometime I should tell you about all the witch burnings that happened here. See you later. So, this is where they store all the old beer kegs. All these barrels have weird symbols on them. That's a funny-looking key. I'll take it just in case. There's not much else I can find here, let alone secret compartments. Shaline's legacy, the Voltingebrau tent. The logo on the tent. He's talking about a lion. Of course, the Lion of Lady Bavaria. Guess I'm going to take a closer look at it. I don't see how the... This doesn't make any sense. Let's try something. This key has four teeth that can be put in different positions. Which tooth shall I adjust? Something has clicked. I can't move the teeth anymore. Looks like I solved it. I'll need a ladder to get to it. A typical metal ladder for reaching high up places. I can use this to get up to the lion's head. Not a fan of sticking arms inside of lion's mouths. Even when those mouths are inverted. <sighs> but here we go. I'm touching a metal plate with what feels like a keyhole. I'll need a key of some sort for this. Which I do have, in fact. That seemed to be it. There's a compartment of some sort. There's a letter inside. And some sort of telescope? There are weird signs on it.
can't find it anywhere. I swear I had it. We should go. You don't get it. Without the notes, I won't be able to find it. Then we do plan B. Just let me have another look. No, plan B it is. We don't have time to keep messing about. Not with them getting closer every moment. Sorry, but the lady has something we need. Or no one else can have. Deus me, Ignoske. They're going to blow up the statue. A cipher key of some sort. Have I seen these symbols before? Mm. I have seen these symbols before. On the barrels in the beer tent. I need to investigate them, and quick. It might be this cipher key, or one of these barrels that the bikers are searching for. I found this inside the statue. It has these dials I can turn, but nothing happens. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. A cipher key of some... Have I seen these... I have... My grandpa loved his ciphers. If I push this down, I'll be able to take out one of them. Maybe both. This is none of your business. Judging by the contents of that bag, this is exactly my business. That thing? How did you find that? Smart people, smart thinking. And some help from a notepad I found. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Give it now, and walk away. I never walk away from a good fight. Both are down and not in a state to talk. I'll let my old colleagues sort this out for once. Shit! More bikers! Got to get away. Judith, what's, what's going on? Are you in trouble? They claim I stole something from them. Which I didn't. I may have... Uh, I also hit a couple of them just now. I mean before that. They had explosives on them. They were planning on blowing up the statue, JB. Who'd want to blow up Oktoberfest? They're... Uh, some sort of cult. Hold on a minute. There they are. The ciphers! What ciphers? What is going on? Just keep it together and hold the door. Each barrel has those weird symbols on them. They're Cistercian numerals. What? Why do you always know the weirdest shit, JB? Just hurry up, Judith! Mm, there are just five barrels with these ciphers anyway. I could try to solve it. Or just smash them to pieces and see if there's anything hidden. Hurry! This might come in handy. All right, let's do this. What is this? I'll check it out later. JB, I got it! I solved it! Solved it? You're solving puzzles! Of all the things you could be doing right now! Like helping me stop these assholes! Or make something of your life! You're solving puzzles! You have no idea how important this is, what I discovered. And don't judge me. I deal with things in my own way. By not responding to my messages? 
by locking yourself up for weeks. Oh, by picking fights with psychopaths. At least I'm not some irresponsible child drinking and drugging myself into an early grave. Is that how you see me? I... The door! Hold the door! A girl like you shouldn't be in situations like these. Wait. That voice. That voice is... He was there when I was visiting that weird club several years ago. When I was looking for the reason for my accident. He was that asshole who was performing some kind of ritual. Who are these people? Some would call them cultists. Others would call them pious. But I call them a problem. <laughs> you and me both. Well, today is your lucky day. Now leave! Who are you? Not a friend. You better leave. What do you know about me? More than you'd be comfortable with. Now stop talking and get out! Why are there all these riddles? Good way to hide your knowledge from your many enemies. But Shulane cared about the truth, and cared that the truth could still be found. I suggest you stop your research. Your father knew too much. Don't repeat his mistakes. Now go! I better leave now. Thanks for the help. Don't tell the police. They won't find any evidence anyway. Why? Why are you looking at the bag? Wait! You're going to destroy everything? Don't argue with me, and stop asking questions. You can't just blow up a whole tent! Listen, you don't need to trust me. I don't need your trust. If you stand in my way, you will have enemies against you. You wouldn't believe it. But... You don't even understand what chance I'm giving you! Next time, it won't be so easy! Now you both, piss off! I need to stop waking up like this. And I didn't even drink at Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, those strange bikers, the explosion. That happened, right? What did I do afterwards? Why does my head feel like it's filled with clouds? Something has happened. Why can't I remember? I got JB to my apartment, and I feel there's more, but it's all vague now. The slumbering headache isn't helping me. I found this inside the marked barrel. It's a series of glyphs. Wait, this looks like the symbols on the sheet I found. Let's see if I can decipher this. The page in my journal should help me. It reads... Hmm... Six feet under the former resting place of eleven false heroes. A temple for true villains. 
guess that leads me to the next place I need to check out. Six feet under the... What's this? Doesn't look like dirt, more like flour. It smells... Ugh, kind of like a swamp. Oh, my head. The stinging pain. Is this some kind of smelling salt? JB really turns this place into a mess. He sleeps like a baby. No big surprise, I guess. He was very drunk yesterday. Hey, time to get up. Oh, you're back. Goody. Wait, what? You said I'm back. Was I gone? Weren't you? Uh, are, are you a ninja? No. You sure I wasn't just sleeping over there? I didn't see you when I came out of the bathroom. Wouldn't I remember when I went out again after all this craziness yesterday? Ow. My head hurts like crazy when I try thinking about it. You don't look good. I'm fine. You can sleep later. What happened yesterday? Uh, I think stuff exploded. Did we do that? Not us, a so-called ally. Someone who seems to know a lot more than they're letting on. And who has other ambitions than keeping a crowd safe. Uh-huh. Hmm. How are you holding up? It feels like the explosion took place inside my head. Eh, drink some water and eat some fatty foods. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. I've got some things to figure out. Sleep tight. On it. I was gone. Whatever this is, it's giving me a huge headache. Let's see if I can find something in Grandpa's old journal. Seems he was also following the tracks of Shaline. According to his notes, I need to go to the Aaron Temple? Oh, right. That place. I know it. It's near Koenigsplatz. The temples themselves were destroyed. The foundations are still there, though. Something happened between us coming back and me waking up now. I should try something else. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Let's see if Grandpa mentioned anything about this. Oh, something stuck to this page. Hmm, I think I've seen this before. I think they're not connected. Hmm. The cigarette. It smells... Ah, pretty good, actually. A little of my headache just cleared up. Mmm. Uh, I think I've done this before. Brenda, I trust you not to posthumously poison me. Let's focus on the white powder, white dust, and swamp smell. And then... Ah. <sighs> It's like the headache is wrapped in clouds now. Hurts less. I... I think I can remember. Not all, but in part. A hand. The powder. Someone blew it right into my face. So this stuff didn't come from the letter at all. I was drugged by someone. Let's try something else. JB said I wasn't here, and my head hurts like crazy when I think about leaving the flat. 
it must be a trigger for a memory. <sighs> Let's focus on leaving. Think of the door. Think of last night. Oh, sweet pain relief. My head's clearing up. There was a knock on the door. JB was still in the bathroom. And like a total idiot, I just opened the door. I can remember a figure. He looked familiar. I should try. I was drugged by someone. Let's try something else. Okay, let's focus again. The man was familiar. Why? Oh, he was the same guy who came to our rescue. I had to go with him. It was important, he said. But he wouldn't tell me where we were going. But there would be someone else. Damn it! No matter how much I've tried to focus, it's not getting any clearer. Wait. I remember putting something in my pocket. Let's see. It looks like a business card. There's a number on one side. And on the other it says... M-A-P. Is that a name? Or an organization? Is that who abducted me? And who my supposed ally works for? Everything points towards that one case my grandpa was working on. There's no alternative. I have to press on. A business card with a number and the initials M-A-P. Hmm. I think I've seen this before. Who is this map and what does he want? I don't see how... Hmm. Hmm. I don't see how the... He sleeps like a baby. I've got some things to figure out. On it. I think JB can sleep off last night on his own. Time to head out and see what explodes this time. With all these lost memories and stuff, I hope it's not my head. Here we are. That overgrown thing there is the foundation of the so-called Aaron Temple. The gnome on the map said six feet under, so do I have to dig up some Nazi graves? Seems Dorothea has already recovered from last night. Hey, Dorothea. Good to see you're okay. You too. Did you shoot the shooters? No. I punched two of them, though, and then everything exploded. Hmm. Sweet. JB is fine as well, by the way. Yeah, I figured. He wouldn't stop sending me vomit emojis. <laughs> is this your regular hangout? No. I'm waiting for some weird musician friends from university. While I wait, I'll plan the perfect murder. Who's the lucky person? That asshole over there, lighting candles for the original assholes. Ah, well, I'll look the other way when that time comes. Thanks, you're a pal. See you around. Later. Great. Here, I was hoping all the Nazis I'd meet today were dead. Isn't it a little early for candles? It's never too early to pay respects. What are you doing with those candles? Honoring the dead, of course. They fell fighting for the greater good. True German heroes. Someone needs to make a statement that their deeds will not be forgotten. Uh, I'd better not let on what I think or what I'm up to. If there's truly something here to find, I don't want him to know. Maybe if I get him on my side or see reason, I can convince him to leave. I like your shirt. Thanks. 
They're the best. Sad they retired from the stage. Absolutely. Way too early. Maybe we can listen to them together sometime. Think of the good old times. Sure, let's call it that. Just let me know when, hmm? Now that we're friends, why don't we go and do something? Together. I'm sorry, but my duty to our fallen heroes is more important. But I can pick you up tonight, sweetie. Ah. Maybe I can appeal to his sick ideology and get him away? There's some foreign guy bothering a woman! And they still let vermin like that into our country. That's just sad. If a woman can't handle herself, she shouldn't go out alone. Couldn't happen to you, could it? You look strong and lean. Broad hips to bear many Aryan offspring. Thanks. I feel violated. See you later. Anytime you like. Yuck. Hey, I'm back. Sup? I might need your help. No blowing up things. Not going to happen. Probably. I need to check out something near the Foundation over there. Your future victim. Over there. He's in my way. Is this a rogue cop and torture genius psychologist team up? We will not murder him. Killjoy. Any ideas how I could get rid of him? Have you tried engaging him in a friendly exchange of ideas? Just joking. Try poisoning him. Or lead them here and we can ambush him together. That might just work. And I do have a pocket knife on me. No particular reason why I'm telling you. You mentioned a pocket knife. Are you going to stab the Nazi? I wasn't planning to, but now that you mention it... No, I actually need it for less stabby purposes. Uh, too bad. I would love to investigate a mysterious stabbing with no witnesses. But here you go. See you around. Later. You again. Can't stay away, can you? <laughs> Let's see if you can actually put those muscles to use. Uh you started without me! He wasn't moving. So I had to take matters into my own hands. Could you call an ambulance? What are you doing? Dorothea! You have no idea how good this feels. Justice! He's already down. Bah. Fine, fine. You don't want to get in trouble because of this asshole. And could you call an ambulance? Tell them you found a guy passed out. Wait, where are you off to? There's things I need to investigate. First, the weird questions. The explosion, now you're looking at ruins... I think it's great you're doing things again, but have you considered... Considered what? I don't know. Maybe this is a bit much? You just kicked an unconscious man. Don't lecture me about a bit much. Fair. Just... JB and I are a little worried, you know? I'm... I'm fine. <sighs> but I need to go. Take care of yourself, Judith. And keep the pocket knife. Sounds like you'll need it. This guy and his fucking candles. Let's clean this shit up. These lights have better use elsewhere. Ugh. There are plants in the way. I can carefully cut them away. Ah, uh, damn it! When will this headache stop? All right, let's see what's down there. This looks a bit like one of those bomb shelters you find throughout Munich. But it's not deep enough for that. What is this place? Oh, damn. Why does this all look familiar to me? <sighs> all right, gotta follow the tunnel and see where it leads.
that must be it. Let's see. What is this room? Some kind of bunker bureau? I read there were supposed to be tunnels under all the buildings the Nazis built. <laughs> Didn't know they contained somewhat nice looking salons, though. <laughs> That's Joachim von Ribbentrop, famously one of the toadiest of Nazi toads. The other person doesn't look like a Nazi at all, though. Or comfortable. <laughs> but if I had evidence of me shaking a Nazi's hand, I'd also hide it. Or better, destroy it. I... I remember seeing myself. Ah, oh, damn that headache again. I remember that man from Oktoberfest. Charlie is his name, I think. And that other man? A voice. Telling me I didn't know things. I wasn't worth being told. Lion, fox, frog. That's what I didn't know. And it's all gone. What am I doing with this information? This is clearly my grandpa's handwriting. This is clearly my grandpa's handwriting. Nothing in here. Odd. There are quite a few files in here, mostly about people who pass through. One of the last entries on this list is Jay Schlulein. No surprise there. And this. This feels like the same paper from my grandpa's diary. These are lost entries from the journal. This feels like the same paper from my grandpa's diary. I'll add them to the journal, too. Nothing in here. Granddad is the fox. There must have been three pictures here. Maybe the other two were prettier than the one that's still left. I know art is subjective, but this... JB would probably like it. Me? My head starts hurting just by looking at it. I think I've seen this style before somewhere. There's probably a fancy name for it that I don't know. I can take the picture out of the frame with the help of Dorothea's pocket knife. There's a number written on the back of the picture. Probably I can use this code to open up the box on the table. It's locked with a number code. Hmm. Probably I can use this code to open up the box on the table. It worked! Let's see what's in here. Looks like an old invitation. Grand opening of House de Const. 
It says the special exhibition is about degenerate art. Must have been an honor if the person living here treasured it like this. And there is another page with handwritten notes on it. At first he lay motionless, struck by the cold stone. His bone, bare and yet so approachable. If the frog had never jumped in the end, fate would have been sealed long ago. The lion knows he uses the three symbols for his flies. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> JB mentioned yesterday Shalain had to leave Munich when the Nazis took over. So when he had to go, they were still constructing the House of Art, if I remember my timeline correctly. At first he lay motionless, struck by the cold stone. His bone, bare and yet so approachable. If the frog had never jumped in the end, fate would have been sealed long ago. The lion knows. Uh. Let's try something else. I found this inside the Bavaria statue. Oh shit. Turning the lenses in this order makes all the lines line up. A Cistercian number. Once again, deciphering a Cistercian code, no problem. It reads, hmm. 8K. A coordinate, maybe. It says there were two templates built in 1933. They displayed 11 sarcophagi containing the 11 men who died during Hitler's failed coup. Nazis worshiped them as martyrs. The temples were destroyed. They left the foundations because of the birds and plant life growing on them. This is an invitation to the opening of the House of Art. Whoever put it in the box must have thought it was valuable. Whatever it is, I need someone else to join me because me and Art, not a great combo. He sleeps like a baby. I've got some things to figure on it. This is an invitation. Whoever put it in the box must- Whatever it is, I- This implies Joseph hit a metal box in the lower level of the House of Art. I've got to dig? The House of Art is not my expertise. If I want to be sure I don't miss anything, I'll need some help. He sleeps like a big. You up for a little field trip? Hmm? Where to? To the House of Art. You like that place, right? Love it! I've even got a student ticket for it, so I don't have to pay. And you neither, because I can take a plus one. Field trip on a budget extravaganza. Great. Get up and let's go. I've never seen so many people here before. They must be here for some sort of celebration. I wonder what's the occasion. 
<laughs> Fortunately, no one asked us for invitations. Although it was quite fun dressing up last time. Hey, Judith! Earth to Judith! Sorry, I was just considering something. I could see that. So what are we doing here? There's something hidden away here. Something I need. Right. Is this related to those weirdos from yesterday? Just help me out, okay? Did you knock someone out again? Don't look at me like that. Dorothea just texted me. <laughs> Trust me, even you would have thrown a punch. I've never seen so many people here before. So, what is it that you're looking for? Treasure? The Holy Grail? Purpose in life? I knew you'd be like this. What? Like, wanting to know why you're doing all this? Oh, how weird. My brother cares about me. The tragedy. Ugh. Fine. There's this thing Grandpa Wilhelm was looking into. And it turns out it's this big mystery. All these riddles and whatnot. And now, others are also going after it. Sounds like some sort of spy shit. Yeah, that pretty much describes it. So cool! I'm in! Taking the wrong lessons from what I said, as always. Have you been to this exhibition before? Nope. This one is new to me too. These are very cool though. These pieces. Some of these pieces are inspired by old artwork. Exploring questions like what do old and ancient works look like with modern techniques? Or modern interpretations? Of course, when I say modern, I'm talking about early 20th century, obviously. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> One day, you'll get it. But thanks for asking me along. I never know if you actually like doing things together. I've just been busy. Yeah, busy. What's that supposed to mean? Last time I checked, you were busy collecting bottles. Listen to the pot calling the kettle black. Ugh, sorry I brought it up. Now what's that supposed to be? An exhibit for toilet humor? It reads, Bending Life, 2016, Satoshi Nakamoto, Tube Sculpture with Aluminum Alloy. Bullshit. That style, it looks just like the picture in the secret salon. If I want to do anything here, I'll have to get rid of the crowd somehow. Same style again. What do you make of this? Hmm? Oh, that's what you were after? It looks like expressionism. Those people in black and white, they sort of kind of look like nuns. Seems like they're praising this broken bone. The stuff around them, the spiky things, symbolize Mira. Must be a holy relic or something. There was a time when people traded with the bones of various saints. But it's really strange to see something like this depicted in a expressionistic print. If I want to do anything here, I'll have to get rid of the crowd somehow. What a weird painting. The description reads, Journey of Eternity. Approximately 1500. Unknown artist. This painting illustrates a journey of a secret recipe over the centuries. The first era illustrates the king of India, Zarathustra, and a Kung Fu master. The king is reading from a scroll and drinking a milky liquid known as Halma. Legend has it that the king became immortal because of that drink. The second era shows the Kung Fu master meditating, now knowing the recipe for a drink of eternal life. He carved the ingredients for Homa into his lower leg. 
A man is lurking behind him. He then kills him with a stone. The third era shows the man again at the Zoroastrian Tower of Silence. He has obviously drunk a glass of Homa and his female lover is drinking it too. At the same time, a raven steals part of the secret recipe. In the fourth era, a ship is leaving the medieval city of Constantinople. Three nuns hold a bone above their head with their hands, singing like an ecstasy. We also see a man longing for the bone and a woman about to attack him with a mysterious frog creature. In the last era, we see all of them again, walking in different directions. What a fascinating story. Now I know the chronological order of these five illustratings on the painting, I guess. What did the description say about the painting again? Journey of Eternity. Approximately 1500. Unknown artist. This painting illustrates the first, the king is legend hat. The second, he carved the, a man is, the third, he is obvious at the same time. In the fourth, three nuns, we also see, in the last, the odd picture in the house of art depicting a phoenix-like bird surrounded by suns and bones. What a strange place. A security door. Probably has some important stuff hidden behind it. I should try some... This doesn't make an... I'm sure the board cashier at the House of Arts won't notice if I just show him this old ticket from JB in order to get in. Ugh, back again. Did I say I hate this place? I hate this place. A metallic door. It's locked. No, why? Bending twenty two. What did the the third era shows? He is obviously at the same time. Let's read that. The second he carved the a man is. Here's what the first the king is legend has. In the fourth year, three nuns, we also see... In the last year... The first heir, the king is legend ha... The second he carved the... A man is... The third heir, he is obvious at the same time... In the fourth year, three nuns, we also see... In the last year... I've never seen... Maybe you can help me out. This piece looks very strange. Isn't all art quite strange to you? Will you let me finish? This shows some kind of bird with a split tail, right? And around it are suns and bones, and it's carrying a bone as well. So... you want an interpretation of that? The sun usually represents life, and... Bones may symbolize mortality, but also permanency. So my guess would be the bird is some kind of phoenix. They exist in many forms in many cultures. In Egypt, it was called the Bennu. In Persia, Homa. Not to be confused with Halma, a bird symbolizing a godly drink. You have so much brain and you use it so rarely. Thanks, JB. There's something hidden away here. Something I need. 
a hidden treasure in the basement of the House of Arts. Right. I guess it's under the House of Arts. Well, with such a neoclassical building, you never know if the floor is old or new. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to take a closer look at the floor. So, I need to take a closer look at these things over there. Could you go outside and make sure nobody's watching me? You want me to be a... Uh, distraction? Are you going to commit crimes? I would never say it like that. But... Say no more. I'm right where I need to be. Gather around, everyone! Let me tell you a little about the history of this place. Don't worry, we'll get to this room soon. Let me first show you an incredibly special piece right down this hallway. All right, my brother's making sure nobody comes in. Let's see. The bird represents internal life. 8K. A coordinate, maybe. Let's see now. I got it! Careful now. It's some sort of metal box. Similar to the one I found in the Bavaria statue. Fortunately, this one just opens up. Inside is a stack of letters. That letter looks ancient. In this handwriting. It's difficult for me to read, and the letter is quite long. Best to break it into parts. My beloved Lord, I cry to thee looking for forgiveness, for my sins are grave and many in number. I was unfaithful to you, to my vows and my sisters. I fell in sinful love with a man. I deceived you, but in the end, I deceived him also. In Constantinople, my sisters and I deciphered the text about a holy relic. It probably referred to the holy saint of Thessalonica. So, we have love, betrayal, and some ancient relic? I think I'm in for an interesting read. Today, I wish we had never learned of this relic. But as we did so, did this man, whom I loved and betrayed in equal parts, learned of us in our findings. A man of state, a businessman, educated and handsome. Venerable and tall, like his name, Maximilian Alexander Primus. I fell in love with him, but I wasn't able to protect him. Maximilian Alexander Primus. That's quite the mouthful. For some reason, I think of some Roman gladiator or a Spartan soldier. My sisters and I were supposed to bring the bone across the Black Sea to Europe. I thought Maximilian a Christian man because he promised to help us with this dangerous journey. Later, I learned he had wanted the bone for himself. I nearly helped him achieve that goal, betraying my sisters in act and not just in mind. He showed us a way out of Constantinople, but we were stopped by a young woman, pretty as a picture. And as dangerous as she was beautiful, she and him fought. They fell into the floods during the crossing. We could only save the bone of Thessaloniki, but unfortunately not us. All right, so according to this, they really did find that holy relic. And there's another person after it as well. Or maybe another lover exacting revenge after this guy ran off with a bunch of nuns? When we arrived ashore, we found ourselves in a country we did not know, with a language we did not speak. 
We fell prey to carnal lust and could not return to our Italian homeland. We had to separate. Two of my sisters had become pregnant and we parted ways. My new home is here in Munich. I have new sisters who take good care of me. But still, I fear all the travels and suffering will take their toll soon. I did hold on to the bone that was so important to my beloved Maximilian. After I saw him fall into the waters, I couldn't bring myself to give it up to the church after all. Tonight, I will bury it in a safe, sacred place. I have never quite given up hope that Maximilian survived his fight. I beg of you, dear Lord, I'll gladly endure purgatory if only you spare Maximilian for me. Please, make it so that these pages will find him. He will know what to do. In eternal reverence to you, Sister Bladina. Pages? Plural? But it's just the one, or am I missing something? Somehow, this gives just as many questions as it answers things. Okay, so this nun, Sister Blondina, she brought the bone to Munich in the end. Well, now I can see why Joseph hid this. Just what is going on? Judith, I better leave. I think they're becoming mistrustful. See ya, bye. Of course, JB. <sighs> I wonder if the nun paintings I've seen in the salon in the House of Arts are somehow connected to the nuns I've read about in this letter. Hmm. Assuming the nun's relic and the bone are the same object. And JB said the bird, a phoenix, homo bird, whatever represents eternal life. That means the nuns brought something with them that makes people immortal. How? I mean, assuming for a moment reality is on a break and all this stuff is possible. Maximilian Alexander Primus, or in short, MAP. Is it a coincidence? Or is that bastard that abducted me related to the person in this letter? Or are they the same person? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. If the bone gives eternal life, again, assuming this kind of stuff is even possible, a slimy dude could be the same person as the one in the letter. How old would he be now? At least some hundred years, right? That's... that's crazy. He can't be. But if so, it means he was in possession of the bone once and became immortal. But then he lost it. The nuns found it. So, the immortal guy loses the relic that makes people immortal. The nuns bring it to Munich. Huh. <sighs> If I were to believe this is real for a moment, does it mean the bone's still here? In Munich? Let's see if I can bring everything together and figure out what's going on. Huh? Something just changed in the other room. I think somebody is about to hold a speech. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. It's been a while since I've had to entertain such a crowd. Last time, I can assure you the uniforms were very different. <laughs> <laughs> but that is all in a past that should never be celebrated, never be repeated. Instead, I'd like to celebrate my gift to this museum. When I first heard of this painting, I knew it should be given to the people of Munich. It is an exemplary piece of history, both old and modern. A true celebration of what we are about as a people, as Bavarians. I can only say so many words. Now, it's time for you all to form your own. That man... 
I knew him. But from where? Ah, oh, damn, my head again. That headache. I need to figure out what was going on when I blacked out. And I think this man has something to do with it. And I need to do this right now. Is there something in my possession that could trigger my memories? I remember it now. I remember it now. I remember what happened last night. Uh, uh. What? Where am I? Why is everything so unclear? <sighs> but I'm in one piece. <sighs> and I can still feel my grandpa's journal in my pocket. Hey! Where's my stuff? Oh, right. Something happened. Somebody brought me here. Did they... Do they drug me? My mind is too confused to focus on anything else. Let's see if Grandpa mentioned anything about this. Oh, something stuck to this page. A sheet of some sort of thin leather. According to the description in the journal, I should roll this up into a cigarette. Huh. Never thought my freaking abuse of smokables would come in handy. A fresh scorpion skin cigarette. My mind is too confused to... I remember... There were candles left and right. There is a matchbox I used to light them. I remember that I used one of the matches to light the cigarette. A lit cigarette. If the journal is correct, this should help me clear my head. <sighs> That's exactly what I needed. What is that painting? What is that? There were candles left and right. If I'm careful, I can escape. And where do you think you're going? Charlie, is that any way to greet our guest? Hmm. <sighs> Ah, Miss Hartman. So nice to meet you. I'm sorry we are meeting under these circumstances. But I assure you, I don't mean any harm. You abduct me and drug me and you don't mean any harm. I hate to see what you'd do to me if you did. I'd hate to see that for you, too. What do you want from me? Your investigation, Miss Hartman. I've been following it with some interest. You're getting further than most people. Who are you? My name is Maximilian Alexander Primus. But at some point, my adversary started referring to me as Map. And I suppose it stuck around. You must still have many questions. What am I doing here? I wanted to have a conversation. In an environment of my choice under my control. You abduct people just to have a conversation with them? I do. Does that worry you? Just seems a little psycho. Spoken like a person who doesn't share my life experiences. But now that we're talking, I realize you're a lot further than I'd hoped. I'll just have to move quicker. Charlie, prepare the sketches. We want them there next dawn. And once we're done, destroy everything still here. What else would you like to know? 
What do you know about me? Charlie told me about the events at the Oktoberfest. And I understand that you're currently following Schulein's trail. What is it to you? You're dealing with the legacy of people I used to know quite well. Take Joseph, for instance. How do you know about him? We go way back. But that story is for another time. You must still have many questions. I think I'd like to hear that story now. Understandable. But you're asking me to explain the ocean to a mole. You have no idea what you're even looking for. I don't think you even know the lion, the fox, and the frog, do you? Figures. Let me tell you that Joseph was a thief and a fool of a man. The lame fools will go to protect what they believe is their legacy. Perhaps that's why your grandfather and him got along. Well, before he ruined that, as he did with everything. But, you know, Judith, sometimes it's best to just live your life and not engage with such foolery. What else would you like to know? What do you know about my grandfather? I thought I'd meet you one day. Like grandfather, like granddaughter, right? I know he gave up on his quest. When family became involved. I told him, you know. If he pressed his luck, people could die. I just hoped it wasn't anyone he truly cared about. And it was uncalled for. What are you talking about? You don't know? About your grandfather, your parents? Shame. You must still have many questions. Tell me about my parents. Not so fast. I've already told you so much. I want something in return. Ask me anything. Not an answer, an item. Miss Hartman, the journal. Give me the journal and I'll tell you everything. First, you tell me all these things that raise so many questions. And now, now you tell me you won't answer any of it until I give you the journal. No, I don't play that game. <laughs> Shoot yourself. Just know I can tell you anything you'd ever want to know. Should you change your mind, call me. Charlie, can you ensure our guest returns home safely? Of course. Uh. So that's what happened. So this man... This map guy wants the bone, and for some reason he needs me to find it. Why? Oh, Shaline and Grandpa must have been searching for it as well. And maybe Shaline found it and left some breadcrumbs for Grandpa? But why? I feel like there's a gap. I'm missing some information. Anyway, I start following this trail and I make progress. Somehow, that immortal guy finds out about it. Ugh, and then he wants me to work for him. Why? He surely knows more about the bone than I do. But maybe not where it is? I must know something he doesn't. My... my grandpa's journal! It contains the information Map lacks, along with the stuff from Shalina I already found. This is all such a mindfuck. Like, am I buying into all that? Relics and immortals and a nun and... Oh, fuck. I should go. Judith! I didn't expect to see you here. <gasps> I'm sorry, everyone. I just happened to see a friend I had not seen for a long time. Please, excuse me. As for us, let's go somewhere more quiet. I'm not going anywhere. Not until I have answers. 
I found the letter. You got some explaining to do. And like I've told you, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. But first, you know what I want. The journal, Judith. Give it to me and I'll tell you anything. I'm not giving up my only guide. But I do want answers. I'll make him answer. Map. Tell me what's happening here. Because I won't hesitate to be at the end of your very, very long tale. A weapon? Judith, you know better than to choose violence. Do I? If you've been paying any attention to me, you know I'd do this. Charlie, get the journal. Now. What is this place? This woman, did she rescue me? Why? I have to find out what's going on. Who lives here? Dear Judith, you don't know me, but I know you. I've been watching you. You must feel confused, but rest assured, I don't mean you any harm. I knew your grandfather very well. I think he even had feelings for me. You know that he was searching for an old relic. A bone. A bone that gives eternal life. The people chasing you search for it too. And they must never get it. That's why I brought you here. This is my place, and they don't know about it, so keep it secret. Huh. <sighs> you can come here anytime as a retreat. I've written the code for the door on the back of this letter. In return, you must find and destroy the bone before Map and Dr. Jaeger get their hands on it. It is powerful. Too powerful. Don't worry, I'll always be near you. When the time comes, we will meet. Your grandfather was close to finding the bone. I don't know how exactly, but he told me he was missing only one piece of the puzzle, and the solution was with Sister Bladina. You already know her confession, but it is not yet complete. Your grandfather had the other part. The important one. The one she wrote for Map. <sighs> In the quarrel with me, it was torn apart. I could no longer trust him. It was too dangerous. You have the first part, I have the second, and the third must still be with your grandfather. At least, I hope so. Judith? I trust you. I'll give you my part of the confession. With your investigation skills, you can probably find the secret location of the bone and destroy it. Something your grandfather and I never managed to do. Before he died, he sent me a small key. I'm sure it has something to do with the confession. Take it. Good luck. Nassim. What the heck is going on here? What was my grandpa up to? Who is this Nassim? Can I trust her? Well... At least I can open that door and get out now. What a weird little key. 
It's a part of the letter, it seems. This must be the other part of the confession as seem mentioned. She and my grandpa tore it up in a fight. It reads, She's so special to me, so dear to my heart. She always was with the most beloved martyr, Saint Stephen. She is like an epiphany for me. So large and strong, but she's never in Lent. She devotes herself to my cathedral like no other, even though she sleeps through May Day. This is where my most precious will be hidden, now and forevermore. How weird is that? Is that a riddle? Hmm, the paper's torn off after that. I can see some musical notes. A melody, perhaps? Anyway, it's not complete. The lower half of it's still missing. Nassim must have carried me down here. Nassim mentioned the last part of Sister Bladina's confession is with my grandpa. And I can probably use this weird little key to find something. Let's turn this thing around. What? I remember seeing something similar in my grandpa's journal. Now, how does this work? Hmm. Yes! The key from the seam fits. But I think I need to get it to the middle of the labyrinth. Hmm. Okay, I've moved it in one position. It seems I can only move it one step at a time. So where can I go next with this key? Ugh, this is a pure guessing game. I bet my grandpa had the solution written down in his journal. I'll try this again another time. What the? Where's my stuff? They robbed me! Well, not all of it, but they did. Ugh, the journal! It's gone! And I bet this map guy from the business card is behind the theft of my stuff. Ugh, I guess I have no other choice but to call this criminal. I knew you would call me back, Judith. Please, I need my journal back. Oh, that's not so easy, you know. It's a very valuable object. Probably we can arrange a barter. So, what are you offering, douchebag? Ah, Judith. Always charming. It's an offer you won't refuse. You really convinced me by what you've achieved so far. We've been looking for that bone longer than you can imagine. And you just overtook all of us. Really impressive. So, we've got the journal. You've got the brains. Let's work together. Come on. What do you say? Prick. Never. Ugh! But I need the journal. I have to play along. <sighs> well, let's meet. I knew you would come to your senses. In your dreams. I want securities. I won't meet with you alone. No worries, Judith. I understand. The journal will be kept with the trustee. Let's meet at the office of Dr. Yeager tonight. Chief Jaeger? So, he's in on this too. Trusty! Yeah, right. Very trustworthy, your Dr. Jaeger. Don't trust your own employer? You know very well what happened. And now, I also know where the journal is, you idiot. I will get the journal, but without your shitty barter. 
See you in Dr. Yeager's office. <sighs> no way, Map. I will be in Dr. Yeager's office. But you won't see me. You again? Are you waiting here to be arrested, you kidnapper? <laughs> you don't know who you've been messing with, Judith. Oh, yes I do. I know very well. I'm sorry to say, but having the police against you is not a good plan. You need to play along. And you know it. Asshole! Let me in! I have an appointment with Map! Oh, in fact you do! But you're scheduled for tonight, not now. I'm really very sorry. Why aren't the police guarding the police station? Well... Map prefers me when he's here, I guess. Normally, Miss Heidenreich guards the station. But well, she's currently on duty at Königsplatz Square. Hmm. She must be new here. Don't think I've heard that name before. See you later, ass kisser. Oh, shit. Him again? At least the police seems to have taken care of that bastard. Hi. You again? Is it common practice for women nowadays to just knock people out randomly on the street? I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you want? Let's talk about politics. If you say so. The police over there is taking care of you, eh? Police? You're calling our police force police? They're soft leftists, not protecting our nation at all. They're not. Yes, they are! Oh, no they're not! I warned you, I'm not in a good mood today. Seems that topic made him angry. I shouldn't touch it again for a little bit. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about society. Okay, let's do it. You don't like foreigners, do you? Are you kidding me? Of course I don't! Everyone can see it. They overrun our nation. Our culture. Our people. That's nonsense. We need foreigners. Our economy depends on them. Bullshit! It doesn't! It does! No, it doesn't! It does! You just keep on annoying me, don't you? I think I just made him more angry with this topic. You know that the news you get is fake, right? <laughs> you believe that? Wake up! The mass media is lying to you. They're taking over the world and you just sleep through it. I'm not. I do my research very carefully. Unlike you. No, you don't. You're just one of them. No, you're living in a bubble. No, you're living in a bubble. No, you are living in a bubble. I am not. I know very well what's going on. <sighs> no, you don't. You just keep on pushing and pushing! There's something else I want to talk to you about. Let's talk about me. Yeah, let's do it. I know you think I'm bad, but I did nothing to you. But I did nothing to you. Nothing. Shut up! I know who you are. You don't. I want to help you. Help? 
fuck off! No, really! I warn you! Let's talk about... Back to... Uh. We're all different, aren't we? Yes, we are. Why can't you just embrace these differences? Oh, I do. I just don't want to have them around me. So what differences do you like? Well, I love kebab. But I still don't want Croatians or Turks around me. So they can give you their food, but they're not allowed to be here? Exactly. Ugh, oh boy. Any more differences you like? Well, I fly over to a beach in Spain every year. That's fine. But that doesn't mean I want Spanish people around here. <laughs> Yeah, but you are allowed to be around their places. I'm just a visitor. I don't have a problem with Spanish tourists. Ugh. There's something else I want. That's... Again? So, you're in a right-wing party, I guess? You bet. But what's the appeal for you? These people are awesome. Strong, like-minded, loyal. Hmm... You know that people like you are destabilizing the country, right? <laughs> we are stabilizing it. You are the ones destabilizing it. With all your wokeness, not having any respect for our constitution, not conserving any of our valuable principles. <laughs> principles? What principles? To go through the streets shouting fascist paroles. They're not fascist paroles. We're protecting our country from people like you. Oh, you protect? Look at you. You're putting up candles, goddammit. Just wait until the storm comes. It will never come, believe me. It will. No, it won't. Shut up! It won't! That's it! Why are you even here? Just to annoy me? Just fuck off! Or I'll put you up against the wall and bury your body in the cesspit! What's going on here? Ma'am, this person just assaulted me! Assault? You? You're the one who knocked me out in the first place! You are the liar here! Silence! Silence? Why? You cunts want to silence us? Okay, that's it. You're coming with me. And you, miss. You heard what he said to you and me? Of course I did. That was insulting an official and a civilian. I'll meet you at the police station for a testimony, okay? Let's go! <sighs> I'll get you. I promise. Fool him once? Shame on me. Fool him twice? Shame on him. <laughs> Shut your mouth and walk on already! You will regret this! You'll see! Yeah, yeah. I've heard that many times. Hey, you! Me? Yes, you were at the scene, weren't you? Can you come to my office for your testimony? Name's Tatiana Heidenreich. Uh, sure. Perfect, that's my ticket into the police station. All right, see you in a minute then. Now let's go. See you in one minute, or probably also one day, Tatiana. Where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, but I do have an appointment now with Miss Heidenreich. You're kidding me. <sighs> you better not fuck this up, Judith. I'm warning you. Eh, that's exactly what I'm about to do, Charlie. See ya. Here we are, in the lion's den, Dr. Yeager's office. Hmm, this looks useful.
Hmm, these things must be Dr. Jaeger's souvenirs. What a mess. What a weird painting. I think Map is behind that door. I trust you, Arnold. If anything happens to that journal... Don't worry, Maximilian. That's Dr. Jaeger, my former boss. And a big scumbag. So these two really work together. This explains a lot. My office is one of the safest places in Munich. But what if I need to get it? Can you give me the passcode? You know how this works, Maximilian. No written documents. But it's easy to remember. It's the year of the accident. And the correct order of your history. Even if something happens to me, you will be able to get your stuff. All right. But about the other thing. I think they're moving. Damn, I can't hear them anymore. What do they say? Year of the accident? Correct order of the history. Haven't I seen this before? I think there are some secret buttons behind the surface. I did push something, but how does this work now? That sounded correct. Sounds good. Correct. Now look at that. I bet this is my journal's hiding place. Ah, that wasn't it. The safe has reset itself. Reset. Still not the right code. One more try. <gasps> Finally! Ugh, come back to mommy, my beloved journal. A window. We're on the top floor. The view is quite nice, actually. Shit, somebody's coming. What the heck are you doing here, Miss Hartman? Our appointment was tonight! What do you think she's doing here, Arnold? She's trying to steal the journal. How did you get in here, Judith? I'm impressed. Didn't we have a deal? I don't like it when my partners break deals. <sighs> I have no choice, do I? No. No! So, what's the deal? It hasn't changed. Worked for us. You get the journal. You solve the puzzles. You keep your life. We just want the bone. Easy. What if I keep the bone? No worries, you won't. We'll take care of that. And then you'll kidnap me again? No. You're part of us now, Judith. Don't worry. We have a deal. Uh, yes, we have. Perfect. You have the journal, and I'm sure you already know what to do with it. See you later, Miss Hartman. Good luck, Judith. Don't disappoint us. Damn, I was so close. Ugh.
I bet my grandpa's written something in the journal about this music box. Let's see. Yes! He did write about it in the journal. I should read it. This must be the page about the music box. Something opened. Now look what we've got here. Looks like an old paper. I should check it out. This is just a piece of paper with some musical notes written on it. I wonder what is so important about it that my grandpa hid it so well. The top half of the paper seems missing. Mm-hmm. These must be the two pieces that Nassim and my grandpa tore up in a fight. I wonder if they still match. Yes! They do! I now have the full second page of Sister Bladina's confession. The one that she wrote before burying the bone. And it obviously contains that poem I know already, as well as some musical notes. I wonder why these two things were so important that they fought about it and then kept it for so long. Somebody has left this toolbox unattended. I can probably snatch something of use. Let's see. Aha! This might come in handy. Hey, I saw you at the Bavaria statue the other night. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Could be better. I wonder why she's in such a bad mood today. What should I ask her about? What's up with your instrument? Just stab me in the heart a little more, won't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Have I hit the nail on the head? Yes. <sighs> my vibraphone is broken. And that's horrible. It's my most important thing. It's my whole business. That's bad. Can you repair the vibraphone? It's not easy, unfortunately. Two tubes are gone. I need new ones. But the ones I ordered will take two days to arrive. They have a very special aluminum alloy. Not easy to get. You can't get just any tubes, you know. I see. I'll keep my eyes open for you. Thanks, but it will just take time until I'm able to play again. If necessary, I have to hope for donations. I see you've switched places. No more playing and dancing at Oktoberfest? Yeah. I figured the weather would be worse today. And I hoped for a little more rain cover here. But the weather seems to be the least of my problems now. <sighs> well, Oktoberfest was a little too loud for me anyway. And as long as my vibraphone is broken, my only option is begging for donations. Mm. Let's change topics. Alright. Bye! these guys are hindering me doing my research. A 
security door. Probably has some important stuff hidden behind it. Look at that. This light looks like it's always been there, doesn't it? Lucky me, nobody recognized the change. Guess I'm now ready to fake an alarm anytime I need to. Awesome. They're still there. I still can't get my head around how you can make a living by bending pipes. I hate it. Now, an exhibit for toilet humor? I need to get rid of these visitors first. Okay, this is your time, my trusty warning light. Let's set the alarm timer to 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, What's this? Hmm, doesn't sound right, but I can't see any issues here. Let's go, just to be sure. I can never tell JB about this, or he'll kill me, or even call me a Nazi. Don't know which is worse. Now let's do this. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I played with your art Got a hold of this gem Okay Better leave now and not come back anytime soon Because I'm not that innocent Hello? Hey there I'd like to show you something are these pipes? Um, tubes. Any good for you? Wow. Where did you get these? These have a great alloy. But... Who the heck cut them like that? Don't ask. I won't. Can you use them? Let's see. Can't believe it, but... I think it works. Sounds good. Well, thank you. It'll do, at least until my real tubes arrive. I owe you. I have this melody here. Can you play it for me? Well, now I can. Let's do it. Do you recognize the melody? Hmm. I wouldn't say that's really a melody. It's more like a polka? Just notes, without much melody, actually. Oh, it sounds like a... a carillon to me. Yeah. You know what? What? It is a carillon. The one from the Frauen Church. Frauen Church? Yes, the big Catholic church next to the police station. Wait a minute. Hmm. The hint was in a music box depicting a Catholic church. And? Sister Bladina is a Catholic from Italy. And... 
Sister Bladina's letter said she hid the bone in a sacred place. I have to get into that bell tower. Why? No time! Thank you. Bye. Johannes? JB! Judith! I'm glad I got you. They're following me. JB! JB! Calm down! Who's chasing you? I don't know. I was just cycling towards Oktoberfest. And all this time, this Mercedes was following me. I think they had the same plans for me as they had for you. Take it easy, JB. Are you at Oktoberfest now? Yeah. I was going to meet Doro. Good. Just keep her company. We don't have to rush into any speculation now. I'll check in on you tonight. Okay, sis. I hope you're right. Bye. He's slowly losing it. Hey there! Is the church open? Hello, my girl. Ugh, don't call me that. I'm sorry, but we're making preparations. Uh, we'll be finished soon. Damn, I don't want to wait. What preparations are going on? My sacristan was kind enough to give me a break, so I can catch some fresh air before we continue. <laughs> it's a busy day, but you are very welcome to attend the Mass when we begin. No interest in the Mass, my dear friend. I'm interested in the Carillion. You said you had a busy day? Oh, yes. I had church services all day long today. My mouth is as, oh, dry as a straw. Whew. I really need something to drink soon, or the Midnight Mass will be a coughing disaster. <laughs> Bye. Let's see. Well, it's trash. Loss of it. The only interesting thing is a broken bottle. The label says, best Bavarian water. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't even know why I keep this. A holy water basin. It's useless to fill it up. It's broken. Gosh, why did I keep it in the first place? But this weird label has come off. I guess I'll just keep this then. This tent has been closed for further investigation. Crazy enough, they kept Oktoberfest going after what happened. Hello again. Hello. These two magnificent bell towers, are these the ones from the Frauen Church? They must be really old. Oh, they are. But our technology for the bells is top-notch, too. <coughs> They're managed by a control panel, yeah, almost like a, a, a computer game. You should come by the open house and check it out. Interesting. I need to get into this control room. It might help me find this sacred place Sister Bladina talked about. Will do, for sure. See ya! A text message from Doro. Oh gosh. 
She says JB has left the tent. I'd better check if he's okay. Hey, hey! Judith? How are ya? Gosh, JB, how many beers did you have this time? Not one. Just vodka. Listen to me. Those guys you talked about who chased you. Have you seen them again? Uh, no. <laughs> Only friendly faces here. It's Oktoberfest, Judith. <laughs> this is no use. He doesn't remember anyway. You wanted to meet with Doro. Where is she? Yeah, she's still somewhere around here. But don't know which tent she's in. Gosh, I told you to stay in company. This is irresponsible, JB. Don't be mad, sis. Why are you here? You were supposed to stay around people. The last time I stayed in company with people, a tent blew up. And anyway, they've thrown me out. They don't want people with vodka bottles in their tents. But who can afford these beer prices? Let's ask him something different. We really have a problem here, JB. I know I'm not the best role model, but this has to stop. Stop drinking, please! Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. Soon. Gosh! That's enough, JB. Give me that bottle. No! Oh! It's mine! And anyway, you would just drink it on your own, wouldn't you? He's probably not wrong. But still, I have to take that bottle away from him. Let's change topics. I'm sorry, but enough is enough. What do you mean? Sorry, bro, but your habits are standing in my way. And your way, too. I'll text Dora to pick you up. Still, a holy water basin. Um, I want to keep that vodka. However, putting the bottle into the water removes that label. Great, now I have a bottle without a label. And a label without a bottle. Why did I do this? Phew, Doro just texted that she got JB. Very good. Hmm, the label's still wet, so it does stick. Okay, so I have a faked bottle of vodka now? For whatever? It looks like a bottle of water, but it contains vodka. I'm back. Yes, you are. You said you had a dry mouth. Yeah, and I have diabetes too, you know. I need to drink a lot. Well, as soon as my sacristan calls me back in, I really need to ask him for a bottle of water. <coughs> Maybe I can offer you a drink. Do you have one? 
how about this? Great, thank you. Water is perfect. Used to be an alcoholic, but I'm clean now. And I'd like to stay that way. But I haven't drunk anything for... weeks. Not even the wine during the Eucharistic celebration. I would relapse immediately. Oh, 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 wow, this is, this is great. Wait. Oh. Is this water? <laughs> it tastes much better than I thought. <laughs> To you. No, not to that. Two women. <laughs> That's a stupid toast, my girl. Try another one. Two Catholics. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Chin chin. Cheers. You have Midnight Mass tonight, right? I... do. Is your mouth still dry? No. <gasps> now that you've brought me enough water, I will make... the best Midnight Mass... of all time. Then don't forget to drink. Cheers! Who your health? I really feel bad. On one hand, I want to get JB away from alcohol. On the other hand, I'm just feeling this priest. This world is just crap. I guess I have to go now. You can't leave me now, sweet girl. Ugh, stop calling me that or I'll punch you in the face. Okay, but only if we toast again. Bottoms up. Oh! <sighs> How about we continue our small party in the control room? <laughs> Nope. Okay. Follow me. I promise this is the last time I'll use alcohol to solve my problems. Hmm. I think this poem might contain the answer. It reads, She's so special to me, so dear to my heart. She always was with the most beloved martyr, St. Stephen. She is like an epiphany for me. So large and strong, but she's never in Lent. She devotes herself to my cathedral like no other. Even though she sleeps through May Day. This is where my most precious will be hidden, now and forevermore. It reads, she, so sp she always was with the most beloved martyr, Saint. She is like an epiphany for me. So large and strong, she devotes herself to my cathedral. Even though she sleeps through, this is where my most precious will be hidden. This button reads, epiphany chime. Okay, I can see the bells that are playing light up. I need to find out which bell Sister Bladino was talking about. Now, is there any bell I already think looks likely? I should sort all of them and eliminate the ones that can't be it. The poem in the marker will help me. Epiphany chime. Ah, you really like these bells, huh? Hey, 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 you 
is scribbling on that thing. I don't think this bell is the right one. I marked it. I've eliminated some bells. Let's continue. This button reads, Dedication Chime. The button reads, Stefan's Chime. This button reads, Lenten Chime. This button reads, May Devotions. Lenten chime. Oh. Maybe this can help me mark this. This must be it. What? <gasps> this bell, number one. Where is it? Number one. <gasps> oh, it's our largest bell. Very famous. The Susanna Bell in the North Tower. Beautiful. <gasps> I need to get... You need to get a good look. Oh, shit. To your health. This is bad. Was it fun to wake up half of Munich, Miss Hartman? You keep on making us problems. It wasn't me, it was the priest. You know what, Judith? You're right. W what That's why he's in custody now. But you... I've seen both of them doing it, Dr. Jaeger. Shh! That's nonsense. I wanted to attend the Midnight Mass, and this drunken priest just wanted to show off his... bells. Miss Hartman. We believe you. You do? For now. Miss Heidenreck, please dismiss Miss Hartman. We will clarify the matter. <sighs> if you say so, Dr. Yeager. And don't you enter my sight again. Judith, we had a deal, remember? Gosh, yes, yes, we have a deal. This is the last time you'll get away from us, Judith. We need to shift gears. 
What do you mean by shifting gears? You keep working around us. That's why we need more security. Charlie will be your guard dog from now on. He will follow your every step. Am I understood? I agree. Fine. Charlie will meet you here at midnight. We'll take care of the priest. So you both will be undisturbed in the church. Goodbye, Judith. Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> the more problems I cause, the more Matt pushes me into a corner. Okay, Judith. So here we are. Don't even think about messing around with me. We're in this together. There's a spot in the barrier that looks rusty and weak. It does. Should I kick it in? I could also just use my hacksaw. I can do it. <laughs> it worked! And I think I'd better keep this rusty bar. Okay, let's go. So, Charlie, tell me, how's working for an asshole? Well, what do you think, huh? It must be a shit show. You work for some weirdo who's looking for a bone of eternal life and seems to have endless power. Hell, he's probably already found it. His footsteps seem to be all over the centuries. He's just using you. Judith. You're right. He is using me. But he's using you, too. Uh, I guess you're right. No matter how many times I try, I can't escape his power. I tried. Many times. Okay, seems we have a new problem. What do you mean? Look! It seems the stairs are in the process of being repaired. Huh. Oh, there's no glass in these windows. Charlie, we could use this cable to climb up from outside. Hmm. Apparently, there's a power cable running along the wall. Doesn't seem too stable, though. You could try it. You're lighter than me. But don't you dare try to leave me here! Good idea, actually. I agree. I'll do it. Did you make it? Hey! Help me get that flank! Now! Finally! You're here! Move that flank! Come on! Thank you. Now, continue. We don't have much time. Charlie. Huh? How powerful is Map? He seems to be everywhere, at every time. That's exactly right. Huh? Did he try the bone? Yes. He did. You said you tried many times to escape Map. Why are you working for him? Why do you think I do? I don't. But there's only one way to be really free of his madness. What do you think? About me? You want the bone. Just like Map. This has to stop. So you want to stop me getting that bone? I want to destroy the bone. I know what they're up to. It needs to stop. Charlie. Why are you telling me this? Why are you revealing yourself? 
I know you're not doing this voluntarily. If there's one person on my side right now, it might be you. I think we're actually in the same boat. I want this mystery to be over, and if that bone is all that caused it, it needs to go. Don't underestimate the temptation, Judith. Once we have the bone, you will never see me again if we really are in the same boat. But I will kill you if you're not. Come on, let's go. We don't have much time. This door is locked. Solid wood, but... Maybe I can break the hinge with my shoulder. Might be painful, though. Do you have a better solution? I could try my skills as a locksmith. Let me do it. <sighs> I think I can use that flimsy key from the music box. Ah, shit. There goes the key. It's broken. Useless now, but... The door is open. Let's go. Someone here has alloyed something to the iron casting of the bell. There's an uneven spot in the large iron. Weird. The power cable running along the outside of the North Tower. Wait! You stay here! We need that bone! Mm. The police station is just opposite of the North Tower. I can see the whole building from up here. Hmm... I never realized there are paintings on top of the police station. Hmm. Looks old. Hmm. Hmm. I think they show the deadly sins. I think this one depicts gluttony. Hmm. I believe this painting shows greed. Hmm. This seems to be the deadly sin of sloth. Hmm. Uh, this painting shows the sin of wrath. What the? What is this? Have you just found the bone? No, I haven't. What do you mean you haven't? There is obviously a secret compartment here. How the hell did you find this? It seems this compartment was created for the bell a long time ago. I pressed a secret button and boom! The metal plate just came down. Yeah, sure. It opened by pure coincidence. Oh, liar. Give me the bone. Now! I don't have it! It was empty from the beginning! I'll tell you one last time. Give me that bone! I tell you, I can't. It's probably somewhere else. I knew I couldn't trust you. You are a slimy scumbag. You tried to trick me. Admit it. No, Judith. You think my body isn't strong enough against your pathetic punches? <laughs> Shit! I messed up. I have to try and weaken Charlie's body more. Let's find that damn bell! I'm in a dangerous situation. Every choice can make a difference. There's a spot in the barrier that looks rusty. 
Okay, let's go. How's working for an ass? Well. I think you're a douchebag. Working for him is absolutely stupid. He's just using you. He only wants this bone of eternal life for his own good. And you're stupid enough to follow this asshole. You're right. He is using, but he's... Uh, I tried. Uh. Charlie... Doesn't... You know what? You're right. I would leave you and go on my own. Uh. Hey, I'm just honest. So, I would say, you can do it. If you say so. I guess I just need to be quick. Shit! What the fuck? Everything all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm okay. This damn cable just snapped. Come over and help me get the staircase fixed. Okay. Let's do this. Thanks, Charlie. Charlie. I think we're actually in the same boat. I want this mystery. Don't underrest once, but I. Come on. This door is. Maybe I. I could try. You do it. Sure thing. <laughs> ah, shit! What happened? Did you hurt your shoulder? <sighs> Fuck off! It's alright. Let's go. What is this? Have you just found the bone? No, I haven't. Give me... No! I don't... Okay, you idiot. Where did you hide that damn bone? Ugh, nothing. Shit. Where's the damn bone? <sighs> Charlie's collision with the bell has scratched away the varnishing. There's something under the alloy stain. So, somebody once painted an image here. I think it depicts a sex scene? Hmm. Don't know what it all means. Hmm. Uh, this painting depicts pride, I guess. Hmm. I guess this one's supposed to be envy. Hmm. But the last spot, it's empty. Weird. It would be the perfect spot for another painting, wouldn't it? <sighs> Shoot, he's waking up. I need to leave now, quick. I pray for you, Charlie, that you said the truth. Wait, I think somebody is here. JB! Hey, sis. What's up? You look horrible. J Judith, they, they're back. Who are they? 
I, 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 I can't, I cannot think s s straight. Crap. He's not listening to me at all. JB, be a man, goddammit. <laughs> You're better now? <laughs> yeah. Who are they? Ghosts? Shadows? I don't know. I, I can't see them. But I can feel it. Something's following me. Okay. Just don't leave the house. Don't go out. Don't visit Oktoberfest. Stay here and you'll be safe, okay? Alright. I need your knowledge, JB. Can we talk now? I'll... I'll try. I looked at the facade of the police station today. It looks historic. Oh, it, it is. The police station used to be a brewery, you know. I didn't know that. Interesting. Wait a sec. Do you think my followers are from the beer mafia? No! Do you know these paintings on the facade? I do. They're famous. It's, uh, it's six paintings, right? It should be seven. Seven? Of course. It's the seven mortal sins. From Catholic theology? Wait. Oh, does, does all of this have something to do with the apocalypse? Ah, no. But on the facade, there are only six paintings. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Damn. Gosh, not again. He constantly falls from one extreme to another. JB, stop it! <laughs> Can we talk now? Yes, yes. But on the facade, there are only six paintings. I know. The seventh painting was never finished. Why? I don't know. The owner probably didn't want to. What was the name of the owner? Joseph Schulein. What? He had to flee the country when the Nazis came. That's crazy. How's this all connected? What was the seventh painting on the facade supposed to be? Uh... Lust. Lust? Yeah. The paintings depict greed, gluttony, envy, pride, sloth, and anger. So, what's missing? Lust. Hmm. I should keep that in mind. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Is, is, is all of this just a weird sex prank on me from your friends? If so, I, I don't like it. No! Is there any connection between Shuline and these paintings? Absolutely. Shuline knew the painter of the Mortal Sins. His name was Goldschmidt, a pretty poor art student from the Academy. A little bit like me. He painted the images on the brewery. Our family also has a connection to Shuline, did you know? Shuline. He was a nice man? He was. I think he donated a bell to the Catholic Church. Interesting. Wait! Our family has connections to Shuline? I don't know the details, but I don't think our grandpa and Shuline liked each other much. There are a few signs in his records, I think. What the hell? You said Shuline left. Yes, he fled from the Nazis. He left a lot of things behind, but wanted to go back to his brewery after the Third Reich was over. But the Nazis took over the building and turned it into the police station that's still there today. But he was a good man, 
he took Goldschmidt with him on the run. He did good deeds for the city. Wait a sec. Do you think we need to flee too? I think we should. No! Can you explain me, Shaline? They're everywhere! <laughs> uh, he's completely in his own world. I'll be back. So, there was supposed to be the last deadly sin on the seventh spot on the police station. Lust. And the image in the Susanna Bell depicted a sex scene. So someone there left a clue to the seventh location at the police station. The bell is somehow connected to this missing painting. I think they're not connected. I got it! It's obvious. The bone was hidden inside the bell by Sister Bladina. But Shaline moved it when the Nazis came. He hid it in plain sight of the church, his former brewery. And he used one of his own secret compartments. The seventh spot, behind the painting that was never drawn. Except by him, on the Susanna Bell, as a hint. Yeah, that's it. The bone moved to the police station. Fuck. I guess now I have a really good reason to search that spot. But how do I get there? The bone must be hidden in the police station. Can we talk now? I, I, I don't know. Don't do anything stupid. I know the bone is hidden in the facade of the police station, but how do I reach that spot? I need to think a little further before leaving. I remember there was a small ledge outside the office window. I could reach this weird seventh spot, but it does mean I need to get into the police station. Again. And up to Chief Yeager's office. Again. And then sneak out the window over the ledge to that spot. And hope to find a secret compartment before getting caught. Oh my. <sighs> Let's go. Can we talk? Uh, uh JB, enough! <laughs> you cool? <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. Oh, look at this. There's a dog. Huh. Guess what? I can pet the dog. As long as I don't have a plan for him, it doesn't make sense to carry him around through the whole city. I will come and get you, promise. This is the cable that nearly cost Charlie his life. Hmm. Luckily, there's no electricity through it anymore. I can't take it though. It's fixed to the ground. Too heavy anyway. Who has seen our beloved Spritey? He ran away yesterday and he hasn't come home. 
If you find our dog, please call 555-840-281. Poor guys. I hope they find their dog soon. God damn it. She's there, guarding the door. If she sees me, I'm toast. I need to find another way. Or lure her away. Oh! Hey, Doro. Are you giving the guard trouble again? Nice. Welcome for someone whose brother I took care of for three hours. Sorry! It's all right, Judith. Is he fine? I hope so. Did I ever say I quite like your style? Many times. Really? Nope. See? So, what do you like about it? I like your hair. Oh, you have no idea how stubborn my hair is. I like your collar. <laughs> yeah, punk for the win. I like your dress. I've actually had enough of it. I desperately need new clothes. Okay, enough praise. Give me your color, please. What? I need a four punky action. Promise. <sighs> okay. If you tell me why, I'll help you. At the moment, the plan has not been worked out, but I'm on it. I'll be back. Hmm. I could connect the collar from Dorothea with the broken cable. <sighs> Miss Tatiana Heidenreich is just around the corner of the Frauen Church. Huh! I could probably tie the dog with Doro's collar to the cable next to that church. This doggy might attract her attention. That doesn't work. Hi. Hi. Doro, I need your collar for a political action at the Frauen Church. I need to chain a dog and use it to draw attention to the problems of domesticated animals. Tonight? Yes. Especially tonight. Hmm. Okay, I'm convinced. Awesome. Thanks. I'll return it tomorrow. All right. Take photos of the action. Bye. <coughs> JB? What's up? Judith! Oh, I think they're back again. Are you still in my apartment? Yes. Breathe. Breathe. <sighs> As long as you stay there and don't open the door, you'll be safe, okay? Oh, oh, okay. Bye. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the bait is set. Hope it works, I gotta hide. Hmm, what's the sparking? Oh my god! Who left you here? Are you the one who's missing? Perfect. Now, quick! Again? JB, you can't just keep calling me. Judith, I can't take it. I tried to calm down, but... Enough! Stay indoors, get some rest, watch some cartoons, and don't get in my way. Bye. Holy shit, the alcohol's gone completely to his head. Huh? Shoot! F- 
fuck! Ugh. I said stop! That was close. You are... Nassim. Yes. And you found the bone. I can't believe it. Nassim. Thank you. Of course. My brother might be in danger. He's at my place, but he might be safer here. This is the last location not monitored by Map and Chief Jaeger. It's important to me. Listen, if you take care of me and my brother, we can talk about that bone. Hmm. Okay. I'll take care of it, but we have to wait for them to back off. Who's calling? Map. Don't answer. I won't. Let's continue. You probably just helped me because you wanted the bone, right? I'm sorry to say, but I'll keep it myself. Judith, the most important thing right now is that Map doesn't get it. But you can't keep it either. Why should I trust you with the bone? I have helped you several times, haven't I? I trusted you, Judith. Yeah, right. When I awoke here, all I got was a wall of text and a letter. I needed to be sure. Map, again. <sighs> Get lost, asshole. Where were we? So, who has ever asked me to be sure? I'm always told to take a bet. Everyone uses me like a cheap chess piece. I'm sick of this. Calm down, Judith. Sorry, but... <sighs> I just met you. I understand. We can solve this. Okay, so what's this solution you proposed before? You know this. A frog. It's not just an animal, Judith. He has many different powers. He can make you sleep, but he can also make you see things. Use him, and you will learn to trust me. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll use your freaky fucking frog. I promise you won't regret it. I doubt it. Nassim said I should put this frog on my face. Nassim, where... Where am I? In a dream, Judith. But not just any dream. It will show you elements of your subconscious. Things you know but haven't yet put into context. The more elements you reconcile in your mind, the deeper we'll go into your thought world, and the more you'll understand. I'll guide you. I've... I've seen that before. Tell me what you see. I see a very wealthy looking man. An aristocrat. That's the king of India. India? What era is this? Nearly 4,000 years ago. What's he reading? This is the recipe for Homa. Homa? I've heard of that. It makes you immortal. That's right. I see a man with a milky drink in his hand. It is Zarathustra. He's drinking Homa. Who's that? He looks wise. It's Mr. Sheng, my mentor. Your mentor? He was a legendary Kung Fu champion. 
I learned a lot from him. But... how? He seems to be very interested in that scroll. Hey! Where's my stuff? Physical things do not exist in the world of dreams, Judith. You can only collect thoughts here, Judith. Mr. Shang wanted the recipe for Homa, just like Map. Good catch, Judith. Something... something changed. You have created a gateway to your deeper subconscious, Judith. What do you see, Judith? This Mr. Shang... He's writing something onto his leg. Through his flesh. I see Mr. Shang again. What's he doing? He's doing something with a knife. I think he's... Ugh, carving something into himself. I see a soldier. He looks like an ancient Greek. I think... <gasps> he's attacking Mr. Shang! They don't seem to like each other, but that's the only link I can see right now. He carved something into his leg, I know that. But what was it? I... I think I know what he wrote into his leg. The recipe. For Homa. The drink that gives eternal life. He... He stole it. The recipe is gone, Judith. But the bone still exists. And it is the only copy of the recipe. And it was you who found it. Shit. You opened another portal, Judith. They don't seem to like each other. Did the soldier want his leg? Possibly. Is this dead body? Shang? Yes. He was killed. I see a bird. A raven? Yes, I think. He's carrying something. There's that soldier again. He's looking at the raven. He seems to be angry at it. An empty glass lies at his feet. He drank Halma and became immortal. I see a young girl. She has this Halma in her hand, I think. Is she together with the soldier? His girlfriend, maybe? She looks happy. She's about to drink the Halma and probably be immortal afterwards. Did the raven steal something from Shang's corpse? What could it have been? This soldier... is this? Yes, it's Maximilian. And yes, he drank Halma. So Map really is immortal. <sighs> yes. This is where his journey started. Are you and this beautiful woman... the same? Yes, Judith. That's me. That's Nassim over 2,000 years ago. I drank Halma. So you are... Immortal too. Yes. So... You were a couple? <sighs> Yes. I loved him. We drank Halma together. But shortly after that, we became enemies. The raven. It's stolen the bone. Exactly that, Judith.
The raven stole his bone. I know that already. I believe he was killed. But by whom? Is there a relation between Shang and Map? Yes. Shang was Map's kung fu master. The raven stole his bone. So... You were a... <sighs> How did the bone get from the raven to Sister Bladina? I think I'm missing a piece. I don't know either, Judith. And I don't think it's so important to know anyway. The raven stole his... The raven stole his... I believe he was killed. Mr. Shang? I think Mr. Shane was killed by... Map! Yes. He was. He wanted his leg bone. Correct. But he didn't get it. Yes. Well combined, Judith. I think something changed again. I see three nuns. They're holding up a bone. I see a large ship. This was in Constantinople, around 600 years ago, over 2,000 years after Sheng was killed. Map and I were meeting on that particular boat. It was supposed to bring these nuns to Europe. I think you're there too, Nassim. There's Map again. I think. He looks like he has traveled a lot. Oh yes, he has. One of these nuns is Sister Pladina, right? That's right. The raven's bone and the nun's bone are the same bone, correct? That's correct. So Sister Pladina found the bone that was stolen by the raven and brought it to Europe. I don't get it. If Map is immortal, why does he need that bone? It's not for him. It's for his power. So he doesn't know the recipe. He did know it once. But my frog's saliva undid it. Map tried to redo it many times, and he failed. Halma is now lost to the past. They never managed to recreate it. Why didn't you get the bone from the nuns? I wasn't able to. It's the same bone. So... You were a couple? <sighs> I don't get it. It's for his bone. Did you care about that bone the raven took? Not at first. But now I do. Why didn't you? I wasn't. I don't get it. It's for it. It's the same bone. Why didn't you? I was. So you. <sighs> Did you care about that? Not at. I don't get it. It's for his power. The nuns found the stolen bone and brought it to Munich. The raven has stolen the bone with the recipe for Homa. Nassim is immortal, because she drank Halma. That's what she claims, at least. Map is immortal. At least everybody I talk to claims it. I think a frog's about to jump on Map. You attacked Map with your frog. Correct. So, it's clear. You didn't like Map anymore. 
He became crazy. For centuries I fought against him. This was when I thought I had finished him. I threw him overboard, but he survived. I don't know how. Another portal. I think I can spot the nuns in the background there. It seems both Map and I missed where they went. It took us nearly a century to find out Sister Blandina hid the born in Munich. Crazy. I see you, Nassim. You're walking to the right side. This is Map. He's looking to the left and walking away. So, your two paths have... separated? Yes. We walked in different directions. I thought the battle was over, but it wasn't. And here and now is when we meet again. But this time, I'll win. What was that? You did it, Judith. And you saw it, Judith. This is my story. You're ready to come back to me whenever you want. Do you want to come back to me, Judith? <clears throat> Welcome back. Uh, uh, this was... Uh, incredible. Are we... good? Yes. Yes. We are. I... I think... I believe you. It's the only explanation. Thanks for showing me. Your world. JB? Damn! I completely forgot about him. JB, sorry. I had so many things to do. Is everything all right? Well, what do you think? Fuck! Where's JB? You know that, Judith. You... you bastard! You asshole! Scumbag! Sicko! Waker! Shout as much as you want. No, 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 no. You haven't kidnapped my brother. No, you're just a fucking weirdo. No, oh, so you want proof. No problem. Where are we meeting? Widow's Backer Bridge. Bring the bone. I'll bring JB. Don't make me wait, Judith. <sighs> Fuck! What should I do, Nassim? Whatever you do, don't give him the bone, Judith. But I have to rescue my brother. I have to go, Nassim. I'm sorry. Don't do it, Judith. Sorry. It was a good decision to come, Judith. Judith, please! You asshole! Fucking bastard! Two thousand years of life had turned you into this. A fucking psychopath. Fuck off. So this is the thanks I get for sparing you several times. You could have had it easier, Judith. But at some point we had to play our trump card. Chief! How could you? How could I what? Do you think the police are above the law? Is Map above the law? Oh, yes! He is! Fuck you! How could I have ever worked for you? Now shut up already, and give me that bone! Judith, perhaps...
stop it. Now. What the? Nassim? Long time no see. You bitch. You betrayed me, and you dare show up here. I'm always around when things get hot, Max. Why shouldn't I shoot you both right now? The bone. Now. I won't! Now! Never. I will count to ten! Go ahead, shitface! Ten? Nine? Tell me. What should I talk about? You killed a man! Out of pure self-interest! I've been on this earth for more than 2,000 years, Judith. Don't tell me anything about morals. Eight. Other things are more important right now. Ugh. Did you know this back when I was on duty? Nap and I have known each other for quite some time. You wouldn't have been a problem for us if you hadn't stuck your nose into this. Seven? What should I ask him about? Why my grandfather? Why did he start the search for the bone? He nearly made it to the bell tower. He had most of the clues in his journal. Why him? The answer stands next to you, Judith. You? He loved me. I told him too much. I gave him too much. It's your fault. You could have left him out of this. You went completely manic with the search and almost beat us to it. Six. How long have you been spying on my brother? Not long, in my sense of time. Probably a little longer for you. You knew about my parents being dead too! Not difficult, considering you worked for the state, Judith. Five! Why don't you kill me right now? I like you. You help me a lot. And to be honest, after we have the bone, there will still be more work to do. And you have achieved what neither we nor your grandfather did. Don't trust him. You fooled him enough. He won't let you go, Judith. Four. I'd better ask him about something else. So, you believe in a 2,000-year-old leg of an ancient kung fu master? I don't need to believe. I know it. Oh, but you have everything you need, Map. I'm fine. My friends aren't. Yet. <laughs> Three. So, you wanted the bone, eh? Yes. Now! Two. Mm hmm. Charlie tried to tell me something. I trust Charlie. Do you trust Charlie, Map? Of course he does. I give him the bone. You stay where you are. <sighs> Agreed. Charlie, move. Okay, give me that bone already. Don't! Stop talking. Start exchanging. One. <sighs> okay. We'll end things now. <laughs> Over all the hilltops is peace. In all the treetops, you notice hardly a breeze. 
The forest birds cease singing their song. Wait a while, not for long. You'll rest like these.